Hi, I'm Steve Green. To lighten your pack as much as possible, you need to become an expert at choosing light food. You can lighten the weight of your food and still have great nutrition and taste. The most important food you carry is water. It's more important than other foods for survival and just staying alert and comfortable. And since water is heavy, you need to carry enough without carrying too much. Reading your map and learning from others about water sources before you hike will reduce your water weight. The main thing to remember when you're planning your food is you'll need more than normal, lots more. If you're hiking full days, you can plan for almost twice your normal calories. But don't fall into the trap of filling in the extra calories with packaged junk food. You don't need empty calories. You need nutritious calories. For weekend trips, you can get away with less nutritious meals. You might even use the trip as a bit of a diet, within reason. But if you're through hiking on the long trails, you'll quickly burn up your reserves and your body won't function well without good nutrition. When you're hiking, good nutrition is much the same as it is any time. You should stay well hydrated, get lots of protein, complex carbohydrates, and good fats. Eat fruits and vegetables, whole grains, seeds, nuts, and fiber. Veggies might be the biggest challenge on long trips, although you can find them in freeze-dried form. They won't be as nutritious as fresh vegetables, but you'll still benefit from them. This beef stew has potatoes, carrots, peas, and onions. When thru-hikers reach main roads in civilization, they're often ready to gorge on all the wrong things like sugar-filled ice cream. It would be better to overload on vegetables that you've been missing. Fruits are easier to pack than vegetables because you can readily find fruit leather and things like dried apricots, banana chips, and mango chips. Here's one that's a mix of four fruits that calls itself antioxidant blend. Freeze-dried meals are light, but are expensive and not always dense in nutritious calories. Become more of a label reader when you buy any processed food. On nutrition labels for freeze-dried food, you notice the meals are high in sodium, sugar, and fats. Your body can handle some of those negatives since you're burning so many calories, but they're not the highest quality calories. Experiment before your hikes to see what's healthiest and what you like. Beef stroganoff and spaghetti are two of my favorites. Some hikers like to repackage the meals in Ziplocs to save a few ounces. If you don't like freeze-dried meals or the expense of mailing them, notice how many of the foods we talk about are available in small to medium-sized food stores. If you're through hiking, you can become very skilled at shopping at your trail towns. Of course, many of the foods we're showing would be repackaged in Ziplocs to reduce the weight and volume. Many backpackers use energy bars as part of their diet, even substituting them for regular meals so they can hike without stopping. Energy bars are best used short-term because their nutritional value is sometimes questionable. This is another time to read the nutrition label. You'll usually find energy bars are high in sugar, which translates to empty calories. Energy bars are often expensive and short on taste. Like many other foods, you may find better choices in the health food aisle of your supermarket. Processed foods always lose some food value. Many processed foods, like instant noodles, are of questionable value anytime. For the first day or two of your hike, or if you're a through hiker for the first couple of days after a resupply point, you can take some fresh food. With practice, you can locate the foods that give the most nutrition for their weight. For breakfast, granola and fruit meals work great. Oatmeal is a good starter. Whole grain dried cereals with powdered milk work well. Some hikers like instant puddings to get started in the morning. Throughout the day, you can snack on things like nuts or sunflower seeds, which are high in calories and protein. Whole grain crackers are a good choice. I like organic blue corn tortilla chips. Trail mixes are great because the varied content is tasty and you need to sustain energy between meals. Whole grain tortillas are becoming more available. Dry soup mixes can be found in any store. I mix them with about two-thirds of the water recommended so it's quicker to heat the water and the soup is thicker. Dry soup mixes are a convenient extra meal to carry in case of an emergency. Beef and turkey jerky are old favorites. Dried red or black beans are nutritious and flavorful. Peanut butter is a favorite staple of many lightweight backpackers, and it's becoming available in small individual packages. Tuna and chicken are now offered in small foil pouches. The convenience packets in fast food restaurants are lighter and more convenient than other containers. A food dehydrator can be a great investment for lightweight backpackers. You can experiment and find foods you really like. You can also package the perfect amounts. Powdered sports drinks are a convenient way to replace electrolytes, and you can use them to flavor water you treat with iodine. Remember to take your vitamin pill. It can't replace a meal, but it supplements your efforts. Food is a memorable part of any backpacking trip. You can trim the weight of the food in your pack, increase your energy, and have great meals and snacks. See over 30 more videos and a free ultralight backpacking book at hikelight.com.